Washington, U.S., the weapons resources of the U.S. and European countries are almost exhausted, so soon there will be nothing to supply Ukraine. Colonel Douglas McGregor, a former Pentagon advisor, spoke about this in an interview with Judging Freedom. The most time-consuming precision-guided weapons missiles to produce, NASAMs and HIMARS are in serious short supply. Our reserves have been depleted very quickly, we have no spare capacity, and people don't understand that. The former Pentagon official said. He also noted that Ukraine's allies are wary of the active increase in arms production in Russia. Earlier, McGregor said that the defense of the Ukrainian army in the southern direction is crumbling due to the correct tactics of the Russian army. The nature of military operations in the world is changing, the role of armored vehicles has significantly decreased. Nasums and HIMARS, Ukraine expects a total of eight NASAMS systems in the coming years. Two have been delivered to Ukraine so far. According to sources, they are located around the capital of Ukraine, Kiev. NASAMS is a system to counter enemy aircraft, but with a short range. Some experts believe that the ground version has disadvantages, mostly related to the mobility of the system. Since the summer of 2022, Ukraine has been actively using the M142 HIMARS multiple rocket launcher, MRL. Since then, the Ukrainian armed forces have carried out several impressive missile strikes with the HIMARS system. This week, however, it became clear that Ukraine was actually using HIMARS in the war on the recommendation of the United States, receiving authorizations when and for what purposes they would be used. This missile has a range of up to 300 kilometers, which means that the Ukrainian armed forces will be able to move their HIMARS further into their rear and still increase the strike range. According to the US, ATIGMS is a missile that can tempt the Ukrainians by taking advantage of its range. Possible strikes on the territory of Russia, which is currently the red line for Washington. Warnings, Colonel Douglas McGregor's comment is not the first in recent months. In the second half of 2022, some circles in Washington sounded the alarm about the reduction of weapons resources. To the end of July 2022, several retired American officers expressed the opinion that Ukraine could use up 58% of US GMLRS rockets. The cost of one US GMLRS missile $168,000. Around this time of year, there was an opinion that unrelenting arms to Ukraine would seriously affect American national security. The shortage of weapons that Colonel Douglas McGregor spoke of is also beginning to appear among some European suppliers to Ukraine. Although it is not talked about, the facts show that the deficit exists. Germany, for example, is heavily dependent on cotton linters. This is major component for the production of fuel for small guns and artillery.